Welcome to Indiana News Desk. I'm Joe Wren. More than 1,000 carrier jobs will stay at the air conditioning manufacturer's Indianapolis plant after President-elect Donald Trump reached a deal with the company this week. It's part of his larger strategy to stop manufacturers from taking jobs outside of the U.S. But as Barbara Brozier reports, some are skeptical other companies will benefit. The deal is one Trump promised when he campaigned in Indiana earlier this year. If I were in office right now, Carrier would not be leaving Indiana, that I can tell you. But during an announcement in Indianapolis Thursday, Trump says he didn't mean what he said during the campaign. I never thought I made that promise. Not with Carrier. I made it for everybody else. I didn't make it really for Carrier. Trump says it was a news report featuring a carrier employee that convinced him to intervene. The young man said he was confident the plant would remain open with Trump as president. And I said, what's he saying? And he was such a believer. He was such a great guy. As a result, Trump says at least 1,100 jobs will be spared and Carrier will pour $16 million into the facility. I'm happy I'll be able to get my kids grown. We're very happy with the outcome. Carrier said in a statement the state is giving it a $7 million package over the next several years to stay in Indiana, contingent on several factors. But left out of the deal are workers at another carrier factory in the northeastern town of Huntington. There are about 700 employees there who learned back in February they too will lose their jobs. We feel for them and hopefully that uh, they can get some help. There are questions about what this deal means for other manufacturing jobs. Rexnord Corporation is just down the street from Carrier in Indianapolis. More than 300 workers here will lose their jobs next year when this plant shuts down and moves to Mexico. We're tickled to death that, that, that President-elect Trump was potentially able to save Carrier's jobs, uh, but we also want uh, our jobs and all the other jobs that are being uh, sent out of this country. We, we want our jobs to stay as well. Tim Mathis is a 12 year veteran of Rex Nord. He says manufacturing companies are exploiting cheap labor and wants to see a long term solution. These trade agreements, NAFTA, uh, all uh, that stuff, that stuff is, is clearly not not best for American American workers. We're taking a beating. Some workers are making direct appeals to the president elect to save their jobs. A Kokomo GM employee made a video hoping to catch Trump's attention after learning 160 people will lose jobs at that plant. But economists say we likely won't see Trump go company to company striking more of these deals. The Mexicans that are working down in Mexico are now able to move from company to company and uh, start commanding higher and higher wages. You know, it's sooner or later. Uh, any sort of productivity differences are going to be uh, in versus wage differences are going to be you know kind of wiped out if that continues. Trump says he'll reduce business taxes to 15 percent as a way to incentivize keeping jobs in the U.S. And while many workers say they're happy to see the president elect thinking long term, they're also worried about their immediate futures. I'm not sure you know we're, none of us are sure where we'll end up what we'll do. For Indiana News Desk, I'm Barbara Brozier. So Barbara joins me now. What do we know about the $7 million that the state is putting into this? That is a great question, Joe. <laughs> We're hoping to learn more because we haven't been given a lot of information. We know that these are some type of tax incentives that, that they're contingent on things like employment. Um, so that's what the state has offered, but there are a lot of questions out there about the specifics of that plan. And because of that, a lot of people are questioning, was this a good move on behalf of the state if they're offering up these millions of dollars in tax incentives? What's the state going to get back from keeping Carrier here? So then let's look at Trump. What's Trump giving to Carrier? <laughs> so uh, he, you know, he mentioned that he basically made this call because he saw this man on television who said that Trump had made this promise. So he called the CEO and said, this is part of a bigger problem. Companies moving to Mexico. Um, the state's incentive package helps, but Trump also um, has promised that he's going to reduce business taxes in general. He says he wants to cut business taxes down to 15 percent. Whether that will actually happen remains to be seen. There has been some talk, folks working in unions say 
that Trump must have offered some more, put some more on the table. United Technologies, the parent company of Carrier, they do have some defense contracts. And so they're thinking he may have leveraged those and said, hey, those may be hard to come by if you continue to move this company out of the state. All right, we'll see. Thank you very much, Barbara.